This raises a troubling question. If we're negotiating with dictators, what happens to America's status as an international bulwark against the rise of totalitarian... Forget it. Can we talk about that raccoon now? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love him. I love him, her, whatever. I love it. Check out this brave little lady that was caught climbing a Minnesota skyscraper. Best. Spider-Man reboot ever. <laughs> Suck it, Andrew Garfield. <laughs> Nobody knows why this little trash panda started climbing. <laughs> but he ended up there for two whole days because the windows in the building don't open, so they couldn't rescue him. But they could take adorable photos like this one. <laughs> of course, windows that open might solve the raccoon on the side of your office building problem, but present you with a new raccoon inside your office building problem. <laughs> now, within 48 hours, the internet watched breathlessly, dubbing the little critter the MPR raccoon, because Minnesota Public Radio was across the street, and they were all over the story. Yeah, their coverage was incredible. I love the raccoon's interview on Fresh Air. I want to know what you think of the direction the Trump administration is heading in in terms of law enforcement. She's the best interviewer. She just gets answers. Her research, her research is incredible. No one else is going to get that answer. Yeah, that's a great answer. And watching this raccoon cling to the side of a skyscraper was nerve-wracking to those of us who gathered to cheer it on. He's moving. Oh my god. There he is. Oh my god. He's going for it. Oh my god. He just made it up a pool. <laughs> no. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? <laughs> I haven't been this nervous since that zip lining possum. <laughs> and this little raccoon infested the internet's heart. Actor Deborah Messing tweeted, I can't handle at it. I'm on the verge of tears. He's not going to make it down himself. He hasn't had food or water for two days. He needs window washers to go get him. Why can't someone make that happen? <laughs> okay, before I was worried about the raccoon, now I'm worried about Deborah Messing. <laughs> but good news. <laughs> yeah. Good news, Will and or Grace. Because last night at 3.30 a.m., the raccoon made it to the roof. And, yeah, feel-good story. Feel-good story of the summer. Yeah. And it was quickly lured safely into a cage by wildlife management thanks to a delicious meal of soft cat food. <laughs> I believe this is the perfect metaphor for 2018. We're in the middle of a hard climb, but soon we'll all be eating cat food in cages. <laughs> We got a great show for you tonight. Anthony Scaramucci and Michael Avenatti is here. But when we come back, Trump has a strange habit. And for a change, it doesn't involve hotel mattresses. You're gonna want you're gonna want to hear that.